Coach, you've said that the equation for winning here at Northwestern lies in winning the turnover battle. Maryland, top of all Power 5 teams in the turnover margin at plus 11 right now. How much of an extra emphasis have you put on both ball security and takeaways this week? You know, it's, it's an understanding of your opponent, and Maryland's done a great job in that area. Um, it's a huge point of emphasis in terms of everything that we do, whether it be the offseason, spring ball, fall camp, uh, you know, even, even into game prep week. And uh, it's something that we just need to continue to be mindful of. Uh, coming out of Indiana, offensively did a great, offense did a great job valuing the football, uh, but we got to find some opportunities to take the ball away. And, uh, you know, I know that's something that we'll continue to emphasize. Uh, credit to Maryland and what they've done, but we, we have to change that narrative going into Friday. They're facing one of the most efficient duos in the Big Ten in quarterback Billy Edwards Jr. and wide receiver Ty Felton. What's your key defensively for slowing down that production? Yeah, you know, I mean, first, uh, Billy's done an incredible job uh, playing at a really high level really well coached, um, but we got to find ways to affect them and, um, you know, get, get, get them uh, uncomfortable, whether that be in pre-snap or post-snap, affecting them with our pass rush. And, uh, you know, certainly have to have an understanding of, of uh, where these wide receivers are at, some, some alignment keys, and uh, do, do a good job of, of keeping the ball in front of us uh, and also find some opportunities to be really aggressive and uh, be in tight coverage and, and challenge routes. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's no surprise. Uh, ever since Coach Loxley has been at Maryland, their passing attack has been incredibly efficient and explosive, and uh, we, we're going to have to find ways to slow that down. One of the key players returning for the Cats this week is captain defensive lineman Carmine Bastone. After going through an injury during fall camp, he's making his debut. What impact do you expect him to make on Friday? You know, first off, I'm just so excited for Carmine. You know, uh, the, the, the development that we've seen out of that young man since he arrived on campus specifically in the last two years has been absolutely incredible. Uh, there, there, there's no one, uh, you know, in the country that is itching more to get back in uh, to a practice routine and get back on the field on game day than Carmine. Um, you know, I think if it was up to him, he would have been back uh, a couple weeks ago. But he's done a great job uh, in getting himself ready to go uh, and certainly expect to, to have a big impact in terms of for him to have a big impact on Friday night. Um, you know, not only with his production on the field, but just his leadership and having him back fully padded and ready to go is something that he's really excited about and uh, this team's really excited about. Friday night's game could make a big impact for this team with a win two and three headed to the halfway mark of the season. How much have you emphasized the timing of this game to the team this week? Yeah, we, we got to find a way to go one and zero this week. And, uh, you know, I, I think the messaging to the team, especially on a short week, um, you know, after a tough Indiana loss, a game that we felt like, uh, you know, we were had an opportunity with momentum to really uh, take a lead and, and find a way to get a win at home. It can be really easy to let that linger. And uh, we, we, we couldn't let that happen. I mean, we had to flip the script and transition into Maryland. Our guys have done a great job of that up to this point. Uh, but, but we got to find a way to, to go one and zero this week. And, uh, you know, when, when, when we're able to do that, that gives us an opportunity to hit the halfway point of the season at three and three. And uh, really excited to see this team continue to develop, continue to grow, continue to improve and position ourselves for all the goals that we have for, for, for this team this season.